Sunday and a cup of coffee. I thought about going ice fishing, but it's like negative five outside. So instead of going ice fishing, I am going to talk about something that a lot of you guys have asked me to make a video about for a while. And I briefly touched up on it in videos in the past that involved bait casters and all that stuff. So today, we're going to talk about the gear ratio on your bait caster, the inches per turn, uh, what gear ratio reel I would use for a moving bait, what I would use for top water, a Texas rig, a jig, a tube, a whole bunch of stuff, a jerk bait, you name it. Um, and kind of try to clear up some of the questions that you guys have had. And just for example, the reels that I'm going to talk about in this video, one is a Shimano Cronark MGL 6-2 to 1. The other is a Shimano Cronark CI4 Plus 7-6 to 1. To understand anything about this or to have any of it make sense, <laughs> you will have to know what is gear ratio. Basically, to not overcomplicate this, the gear ratio of a reel is how many times the spool is going to revolve for one turn. So if that does not make sense to you, if I have a seven, six to one reel for each full turn of the reel, the spool is going to revolve 7.6 times. Okay, so a six, two to one is going to revolve 6.2 times on that handle turn. So you might also be wondering, what is the inches per turn that you hear about, or the IPT that some people refer to on a bait caster? So again, each time you turn the handle, you're going to retrieve that amount. So if that doesn't make sense, a reel that is a 7.6 to 1, the Shimano Cronark CI4 Plus, right here is going to be 32 inches per turn. If you have a reel that is a something like an 8.1 to 1, it's going to have, I'm pretty sure, 36 to 37 inches per turn. A reel that is a 6, a 6.2 to 1, 6.3 to 1, 6.4 to 1, that is going to have... Uh, anywhere from 23 to 26 inches per turn. So, that will probably bring you to your next question or your next thought. What inches per turn or gear ratio would you use for a moving bait or a topwater bait or a bottom bait, a jig, a tube, stuff I mentioned earlier? I'm going to tell you guys what I like to use, and what I know some other people use. And if you're wondering why do I, why is there no 8 1 to 1 reel here? Why is there no 5 4 to 1 re reel here? Why don't I have a 5 6 7 8? Because I just wanted to keep it to a 6 and a 7. Two of the most commonly used reels in bass fishing. I like to use a 6 gear ratio reel for things like a spinner bait, a chatter bait, a jerk bait. Uh, once in a while, maybe even stuff like a swim jig. You can use a slow casting reel, a 5, or a fast casting reel, a 7. For moving baits, you can do that. But you're going to notice that it works the best if you slow down that 7 or 8 with that moving bait. It'll work. You can do it. But a 6, in my opinion, will still be ideal. Now, at the same time... You can fish a Texas rig, a jig, or a tube on a 6. It's going to work, but a 7 or an 8 is going to be the ideal choice. Now, you might be wondering, why is that the ideal choice? Because, again, like I said, if you have that reel that is, I don't know, 30, 32, 36 inches per turn, you know, and you're fishing that bottom, after you set that hook... You want to be able to gain control of that fish. And another thing too, with a higher with a higher gear ratio reel, 
is you will find that it works the best when you're using a bait that you want to get back to you quickly, okay? So you're working a spook or a frog on your medium heavy or your heavy with braid, okay? And you miss a bite and you want to cast back and you want to cast back to the strike zone. So you want a reel that is going to bring that line in as fast as you can so you can cast back out to get into that strike zone, if that makes any sense. A 7 or an 8 gear ratio reel is also going to give you a better hook set, or it could give you a better hook set. Now, if you're wondering, how does that make any sense? How is that true? What are you talking about? Because with that 7 or 8 gear ratio reel, you are going to be able to uh, retrieve your, or excuse me, you're going to be able to move that slack line quicker. Okay, so you'll reel up that slack line, boom, set that hook. Whereas, like a 6 gear ratio reel, that is something that I would take if, I don't know, if I only brought one reel, I would take like a mid-level six because I can slow it down or speed it up. Now, is a seven just as versatile and can you use a seven for as many other things? You just slow down your rate of retrieve? Yes. But again, a lot of fishing, especially bass fishing and the reels that you use, a lot of that is also preference. Use what you like, what is comfortable for you, if that makes any sense. And where does this come into play? Another thing people ask me is, well, why not just use a spinning reel? Or what would you prefer, a spinning reel or a bait caster? Or which one is better, a spinning reel or a bait caster? I can't tell you to pick a spinning reel or a bait caster because one is better than the other okay because they're both going to serve a purpose you know your bait caster is going to be your workhorse and it's going to get a lot of a lot of your applications in my opinion it's going to get your top water fishing your flipping and pitching your punching a whole bunch of stuff like that you know and also a lot of moving baits but at the same time a spinning reel also is just as equally important because that spinning reel is going to handle a lot of your finesse fishing, drop shots, stuff like that, light baits, live bait uh, for beginners, for people who don't fish that often. Or there are just some people who just prefer a spinning reel over a bait caster because that's what they like and that's okay. That's one of the cool things about fishing is it doesn't matter what you like to do, what you like to use, how much time and money you have invested into it, the fish don't care, okay? I mean, anybody can enjoy this sport. I'm just trying to clear up some of the questions that I've been asked from, you know, from my experiences and based on what I know. I'm not a professional at all. You know, I just, I like to go out, catch fish, have fun, make videos, fish with other people, subscribers and YouTubers. But I hope this could help you understand a little bit of why I use a 6 or a 7 gear ratio reel in my videos when I do one thing. And then why I use spinning tackle for finesse, live bait, some jerk baits, and other videos. You know, it, it's personal preference, but it's also why am I using it based on this inches per turn, this gear ratio, and all that. If that makes any sense at all. So anyway... That's going to be it for me for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And as always, if you have any questions, I will talk to you guys down in the comments. And also, if you're new to my channel, I think this is video number like 228 in two years. So if you're new to the channel, I hope you guys enjoy the videos that I have.